So, so I'm going on a 10 days vacation with three German. Me? And his parents as well. And that actually made me quite nervous because me and my boyfriend took like a long time to get used to each other traveling style due to cultural differences. Yeah, like when I go traveling, I like to see the culture and the landscape and the different landmarks and stuff. And Yuan basically likes to eat. Mm. Uh, does your parents like to eat 10 times per day? No, I don't think so. See, that's the problem already. Do you know who would be a good travel companion for you? Who? A hobbit. That's actually true though. <laughs> anyway, this is our first time traveling together with them. I really hope it goes well because I want them to like me. Uh, come on, they love you already. But I want them to love me even more. If you watch until the end of the video, you would know how it ends. I don't know because I film it one day before the vacation, but I'm excited about it. <laughs> His parents live 10 hours away from us. So today they are driving from their house to our house. They will sleep here overnight and tomorrow we'll go together. The whole house is still a mess. We have been cleaning non-stop for like three days, building new furniture. Also, normally when guests coming over, they sleep on our couch, but uh, we don't want his parents to sleep on the couch anymore. So this week we bought them a bed and we put them into the working room. That's why we have to work very fast to put the bed in so that they have place to sleep tonight. So this is the working room of my boyfriend. We just bought this bed some days ago. It's actually a double bed, like one meter and 60 centimeters, but you can like put them into like a pie. So yeah, you can stack them so that they are uh, a single bed too. When his parents come over, we can just put them down and then they can have the whole thing to sleep on. The only problem is that we haven't finished cleaning yet. Two hours later so it's 9 40 in the evening his parents have arrived and the bed is ready it's surprisingly soft and feel really really good i think german boyfriend did a very good job of building this bed i am so tired because i am packing at the moment i regret not doing it earlier i always wait until the last minute and now i'm overwhelmed this time i'm gonna travel with three germans they always overpacked and they bring almost everything so i only bring like clothes they have everything you could think of in the world three of them so i'm pretty chill about that Hello, we have arrived and uh, this is a tour of the hotel room. Welcome in. Uh, we got upgraded because they were out of room. So we have a fancier room now. But For only, one night. <laughs> yeah, one night. But that's enough. I'm happy. Here we have a, a sitting area and a kitchen, which is very funny because this is an all-inclusive hotel and we don't need to cook anything. So the kitchen is just for show, basically. <laughs> this is the sleeping room. Uh, not much to show, actually. And basically, that is it. It was a four hours flight. Our flight was at half past 12 in the afternoon. So we had pretty good puffer time. My boyfriend is on time normally and his parents are German too. So they are pretty on time. But then you have three Germans together and it's just punctuality overload. This morning, I woke up at half past six. And when I go to the guest room, his parents were already sitting on the couch, fully packed, fully closed. Just sitting like this, waiting but, for us. But that was actually pretty nice of them. Like they took out the rubbish and they said they didn't want us to be too too busy in the bathroom. It's and, very yeah. sweet. Like they basically prepare the house for us so we can leave. I also noticed that when Germans have a plan to do and they have like time pressuring, they get very like stressed and irritated. Like the whole family yesterday, nobody was talking to each other. Everybody was just trying to get to the train on time, to the bus on time, to the airport on time. The moment they sat on the plane, now that they can relax, three, no, four hours of just like three people stressing out being on time. <laughs> I feel like I changed in that that point because like we were there like 10 minutes before the train was leaving. So was, I was like, okay, we still have time to, to get some food. But that stressed my dad out to the oh core. <laughs> <laughs> I ordered the food and he was like, what? We just have 10 minutes left. He was and about to kill my and, boyfriend. And it's like 30 meters walking in 10 minutes. What? <laughs> And you want to order food? Yeah. You even want to have it warm? What? Exactly. <laughs> do you think they're gonna hate me because I was so chill yesterday? I was like, do, 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 do. and they were just like, run, 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 run. Actually, I felt like you were the most stressed person yesterday. Because they were stressed, so I stressed still. <laughs> I was chill, but I was stressed because they stressed me out. <laughs> we were just chilled in a focused way. Oh gosh. <laughs> This is a giant big ass balcony. Welcome in. I don't know if you can see it because of the light situation, 
but it's sunny. There's palm tree. Uh, hotel is white, look like Greeks. And there's ocean over there. Here you can see the pool as well. I don't know how to swim, but I like to see people enjoying the pool. Ah, soaking in the vitamin D. Do you guys know that uh, I live like 10 kilometers near the ocean in Vietnam? I mean, ah, this is just the smell. In one of my videos, I complained that traveling with a German is very exhausting because my boyfriend tends to wax a lot. We don't have any problem when traveling with his parents. I'm pretty sure that in their spirit, they would like to walk around and, and discover they cannot walk that much anymore. So we're actually fitting very well with each other. We have been sitting, eating, drinking, and I don't know, staring at each other a lot instead of just like walking around for hours. So I am enjoying it. We booked this trip from a German agency and that is why although we are in a tiny island in Spain, our hotel is like 100% full of German and it feels like we are living in a tiny German city, town, community. <laughs> the staff speak German, the food is like Spain mixed with German food and like the drink and the activities are catering for the German. And I have to say like if you want to go travel internationally and you want to have a quiet relaxing trip when there is not very like crazy lousy things happen, go for a hotel with full of German. Most of the time everybody is very polite, they queue for the food, they be silent and everything. The only thing that I don't really like enjoy is that I think I'm too young for this place. I would rather be in a place where people are partying a bit harder. Um, yesterday we have karaoke night at the hotel and the staff was basically have to beg if anyone wants to go after the stage to sing. Like if you have a bunch of Vietnamese on vacation, everybody would kill each other to be on stage to sing. <laughs> so why didn't you go to the stage to sing? I would love to, but I'm shy. But like a normal Vietnamese wouldn't be shy, okay? <laughs> also, I don't want to sing in front of a bunch of German. I think they are a bit too like dirty and they are not smiling that often. So it makes me scared and I don't dare to show my talent. Like I really, really feel like here I experienced for the first time the Germans there. Like even as a German, like I felt like some people were staring the soul out of me. Like mm. This hotel, as I said, it's catering for Germans. So we have a lot of like German activity in the evening. We have Schlager music every night. It's like those German chash, catchy music. Honestly, I love it so much. We have like bingo night. They even show like old German movie from time to time as well. One thing I have to say, like a complaint in general, not just about your parents, that um, I think I'm having a very good time here. Like the sun is shining, food is good. Like it was a great holiday. I'm smiling, I'm enjoying it. I'm telling my boyfriend like how great it is. His parents would just like silently enjoy it. It's like a very German thing. When they enjoy something, they just don't complain about it anymore. And they wouldn't be like, oh, this is awesome. This is the best day in my life. They would just like not being so grumpy anymore. And they would be just like um, a normal person without complaining. <laughs> I don't know. Like, why, Annie? Why? I, I don't know. I always also feel a little bit like they're just preparing themselves or they don't don't trust it. And they are preparing themselves for the last, next bad thing to happen. Because whenever there's a minor inconvenience, they're like, oh yeah, that was clear. <laughs> <laughs> but it's definitely not your parents' fault. I saw so many people in Germany behave the same. Even when they are experiencing something very happy, something very positive. The, the way they express their happiness, it's just like, they're very calm. They wouldn't go crazy like other people. For example, I'm in Spain now and Spanish people are one of the happiest people I have ever met on earth. Maybe because of the sun, the food or something. Like, they're so smiley. They're so, like, welcoming. They just, like, I don't know. They're so happy. They're so excited for any minor thing. And uh, I like that culture. I like to be happy about minor things like that a bit more. Mm, enjoy the little things. Yep. So today is the last day of the holiday. Tomorrow we are flying back to Germany. 
The holiday so far was okay, but for me health-wise, it was not going well. I am being sick and I have been thrown up several times. Not because of food poisoning and I'm gonna explain that later. We have done pretty cool things during the trip. My favorite thing to do was star grazing. I just heard that Tenerife is the third best place on earth to do star grazing. So yesterday we did that, it was wonderful. Like we drive above the cloud, we look up and then we see a bunch of stars. And right at that moment, I was kind of realized something. Uh, actually, traveling alone is not that enjoyable, at least for me. During nice moments like that, it's always nicer to have someone to be with you so that you can share that moment with. For me, if I just go up there and see the star alone, it's kind of pointless. So I'm very glad that I have German boyfriend. I'm very glad that we're together so we can share a moment like that. One thing about Tenerife is that this island is very mountainy so it is up and down up and down the whole time and uh, i'm very easy to get car sick so every time i got into the car and go up to the mountain or like just driving around i throw up <laughs> so i have been throwing up a lot and i mean like most of the activities over here has to do with like driving up and down or like getting seasick in the ocean to see like whale or dolphin i think my purpose and style of traveling is very controversial for germans at least because i'm only traveling for food i literally i don't even care about pictures mountain i'm just here to eat and that's it the thing is because i only travel for food the place that I travel to has to have good food. And I have to say that Spain has pretty good food compared to Germany. But I still prefer Asian food more, like Vietnamese food or Korean food. So although I was very well fed, here they have all-inclusive food three times per day, I was not like very satisfied. So for the next trip, I will definitely go back to Southeast Asia, go back to Vietnam, or like even going to Korea just for the food. For me and German boyfriend, since we're traveling a lot together, we kind of like find the balance for each other. For example, now I don't have any problem of letting him go doing something alone during the trip. Before, when we first traveling together, I have this urge of like we have to stick together since we are a couple. But now, I'm getting more chill, so I let him go to do things that I don't want to do. Like today he's in a water park, some days ago he was going to the ocean to see some whale or something like that. And then I'm staying at home, I'm reading books, I'm doing some coaching, and uh, I'm just eating around the hotel. I think it was pretty chill to do traveling like that as a couple because we don't need to do things that we don't like and the other partner can just do things that they like. It's funny that it took us years to finally agree that this is the better way for traveling and let go of the we have to all travel together. I am home! Yay! <laughs> the trip home wasn't pleasant at all because of my sinus infection. When I get to the plane, my ear just started popping like crazy. It was so hurt for like four to five hours during the flight. His parents was not doing well as well because it's hard for them to fly like long distance. Um, we arrived at the house at like one in the morning and everybody was so tired. Nobody talked to each other at all. We just like say goodnight and go to bed immediately. <laughs> the next morning, his parents woke up and they immediately drive back to their house, which is very far away. But yeah, despite of the ending, the trip was still nice. And I really hope that his parents enjoyed it and they still like me and they did not realize how crazy I am yet. <laughs> When I started making this video, I plan it to be like a vlog where I film what we do and the sightseeing around. But since I want to keep his parents and also German boyfriend privacy, it turned out to be super hard to film anything. That's why at the end, it ended up to be like a travel diary when me and German boyfriend just sit down and talk about our trip experience. But still, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you very much for watching until now and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.